Hey, what's up? Just wanted to show off my uh, AKs at the top there. I've got a Sega in 410, and it's just been converted today. It's not got the trigger conversion, but I did the, the cheapy pistol grip conversion. And uh, at the bottom there, I've got a Wasser. I'll just go over them real quick. Um, I plan on making an AK collection eventually, but right now these are the only two I got. Maybe that'll change, maybe it won't. It'll probably be harder with the uh, Russian ban going on right now. Um, we'll start off with the Sega. The Sega is wearing a Tapco T6 stock with a standard Sega pistol grip. I didn't do the trigger conversion, and it's got a SGM tactical 10 round magazine as opposed to the uh, 4 rounder that it came with. Up at the front, there's no muzzle device, but I've got one picked out, and I'll order it shortly. Um, both of these rifles do have the recoil buffer made by Ultima Arms Gear. And this is the Russian-American Armory Company import, so that's what's considered the more reliable of the two Segas that you can get. I've heard some stuff about the other company, how they have reliability issues with their builds and stuff. And here at the bottom, I've got a Wasser. It is the double stack, and it's a 1966, and it's completely bone stock except for the buffer, the little recoil buffer. And like I said, it's a 1966, and it does have, if I can get it to focus, it does have the 1966 military proof mark, and it's all numbers matching. And it's got the side scope mount, just like all AK pattern platforms. And this is a really great rifle. If anyone tells you that Wassers aren't good, they're full of crap. Um, mine is a newly rebuilt one. I think it's a 2008 rebuild. And everything's numbers matching, and it's an awesome rifle. Never had one jam. Uh, never had any problems like that. The Sega did jam a few times. It's because I was stupid and was using 2.5 inch instead of 3 inch. Um, it didn't come with a manual or anything, so I just assumed it would work with any of them. But once I got the three inches in it, it was working perfect, and they're both great rifles. The Sega it has a little bit better build quality. It has just about a two millimeter um, receiver thickness, so that's pretty awesome. So I plan on attaching the muzzle device to the Sega. I'm leaving the Wasser as a standard AK form. I just kind of want it to be the the cool looking old gun of mine. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.